under your hat. It's a windy day out there, Dustin. Yeah, very windy. Right. So it's been causing some trouble for some folks today. Maybe a bad hair day. Well, yeah, and lots of fallen branches when I was out walking the dog. So it's uh, kind of hazardous even walking through the neighborhood. It is. You know, when we have that wind advisory, which we have right now, sometimes there's always that threat of like power outages. All it takes right. is that one tree limb in the wrong place. But the strong winds are going to be dying down pretty soon. Well, that's good. And the warmth is going to go away with it. With it. So if you like the 80s, you're not going to see any for a while. But it'll still be seasonal, so we're okay. It will. Don't it's, panic it's yet. It's going to be very pleasant, I think. Yeah. But have a look at our temperature or our wind speeds now first. It is still very windy. These are sustained wind speeds with gusts that are occasionally over 30 or even 40 miles per hour. So it's a very, very windy day, of course. Temperatures. Well, the winds have actually been bringing in a lot of that really warm weather, but we're seeing the change as we speak. It is 80 in Lansing, still mid 80s, Jackson, Hillsdale, down to the 70s further north. That's about your cutoff with the cold front starting to slowly work its way through mid-Michigan and maybe bringing a few little showers with it. It's really not looking impressive as it's finally here. We see a couple little raindrops at the top of your screen there, some increasing cloud cover, sure. Still plenty of sunshine overhead, but as this cold front passes, we just see a chance for rain along with it. Again, not looking impressive. Further north, not much going on. We see some calmer weather as soon as it passes. Now, wind advisory is still in place in this brown color for most of lower Michigan, but behind it, just to show you the difference, there's actually frost, freeze concerns on the other side of Lake Michigan. That cold front's bringing a real change. Further down the line, way out in the central plains though, very serious, severe weather situation shaping up here. Tornado watch in yellow, extending all the way down into Texas there. That's a widespread severe weather situation likely for these folks. And you see it already starting to really fire up quickly. Good news is here, we won't be seeing too much of that around here but something we'll be watching very closely later on throughout the night. Temperatures seeing a big change, 70s and 80s in the lower, 40s and 30s in a lot of the upper peninsula, much, much cooler. So it's bringing in that cooler air. We're not gonna get quite that cold, but we are seeing a return to more seasonable weather. Chance for rain tonight, mainly this evening, and then more weekend rain, that's in the seven eight. We'll talk a little bit about that. So let's go through our future cast tonight. The cold front passes. There's really not much to see here. Might kick up a couple of showers and then it's gone. Partly cloudy conditions tonight. Some clear spots here and there. Friday starts uh, pretty similar, cooler, but maybe some occasional sunshine between the cloud cover. There's a chance for a few evening showers Friday. Those two do not look impressive and they'll be more confined towards our southern viewing area. And then they're already gone by Friday night. Just a chance for a few of those Friday evening. Saturday. Maybe some dry spots there too, but by Saturday afternoon, some rain and scattered thunderstorm activity uh, coming in from the southwest there. We will see some of that for a good chunk of your weekend and maybe again occasional breaks, but we'll still see more chances for rain through Saturday night into early Sunday. See some of that coming here through Sunday afternoon too. It's just going to be something you have to watch if you have any weekend plans. Saturday and Sunday both have rain and some thunderstorm potential. 45 degrees your low tonight, partly cloudy skies. Chance for some evening rain. Again, nothing significant there. 63 tomorrow, much cooler than today in the last few days. Evening rain is again a possibility there. But into the seven days forecast, uh, scattered rain Saturday, more daytime rain on Sunday. Probably going to hear some thunder in the mix too, assuming we get over 70 degrees. I wouldn't be surprised there. And then middle of next week, more rain is likely. Occasional dry spots here and there, like maybe part of Monday and uh, tomorrow too. But if you have any weekend plans, I know there's always a lot going Which on. Of course it's that time I of year. Do. The one weekend I do is always when it rains. That's right. my luck. Just got to keep your eye on the radar. It's, it's not Zach's a full luck. washout. Yeah. All right, Dustin, thank you. Hey, collision.